the first ever tournament of Unreal Tournament. Six players will be playing over 15 rounds to fight to become this year's Three, champion. Two, one. This is weird pretend nothing's happened. Oi! Foxes are amazing. <laughs> Finally! Oh yeah, and the rock in it. Bang for the face! Finally! There it is! <laughs> there it is! There it is! There it is! There it is. <laughs> Combo breaker! <laughs> Come back on. Oh, yes. shredded. That's all I care about, damn it. <laughs> ah! Oh, no, 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 no! Oh, oh, no. Yes! <laughs> Congratulations. Oh, oh, yes! Hello and welcome to round three of the Tournament of Unreal Tournament. Today we have Carl on Fire versus Malsols on DM Focus. Before we get to that though, let's have a quick look at the league table. Malsols currently in joint second place. If he wins this, he'll be pushing himself up to joint first place with Bishman Rock. Carl on Fire currently in last place with zero points. However, if he wins this, he will go into joint second place with pretty much everyone else. Malsol's performed really well in round one, beating Flying Butter and getting his first point. However, in round two, he didn't fare as well against Bishman Rock. Carl on Fire had a really good round one against Demotan, however, he faltered when it came down to sudden death. Round two, however, he didn't fare as well. He ideally needs to win this match to start getting back on track. I'm going to pass it down to our commentators now over at DM Focus to give us the lowdown. Thank you for that incredible insight there, Bishman. Today we have Mousels versus Carl on Fire on DM Focus. Now this is really going to be one of the interesting things. Carl so far has not managed to get a single point on the board. If he's going to win he needs to start now. This is the turning point for Carl's game, really, and we're going to see how he does. Too much identical guys apart from the haircuts. I think you'll find out here. <laughs> Activate. Just that little bit of damage. I suppose that's where the flat cannon really does come in handy. It doesn't matter where they are, does it? as long as you're shooting in the right area, mm. you can get them. Tom Fire's using an impact hammer at one point there. In the middle of a duel, probably not your best option. So there we go, first blood within one minute of it, which is pretty good. Now I'm not sure the flat cannon really is the best choice for long range, not in a standard death not in a, No, not really. That's a much better option. Probably not. With only two bullets left as well. I can hear the footsteps. Oh, now that. Well, if it works, it works. You use the splash damage to your advantage. Great. Now, if Mousels really wants to stay alive, he's going to have to find himself some more health while he continues around this map. He is. While well, he's got the shields to cover him as well. Mm. There we go. There we oh. go. Oh. Mousels really is the fan he of the flat cannon. He is hammering the flat cannon, isn't he? I didn't remember this as much in other UTs where they're <sighs> running out of breath all the time. I'm not sure I've ever noticed it in anything. <laughs> it doesn't have, except for the games where they have a limited sprint, so it's, a, it's an, an audio indicator that there's that you're running out of sprint. Mm. But other than that, I don't think I've ever noticed anybody breathing before. Just using that secondary fire just to get that splash damage and just eating away at his health. And the more, the more you eat away, the less accurate you have to be when it comes to the kill. Mm. Now, Carl, once again, is failing to strafe. He All is, we're he's doing, just, just running straight in. In a straight line, and. Mike is just using that to his advantage and... just to ebb away at that health. Oh, just walk straight past that. Concentration going on. <laughs> <laughs> they are playing a much more tense game than we've seen pre previously. Lots of trash talking from everybody else. <laughs> oh, well, there's not a lot you can really do when there's a flat cannon in your face, really. Not is much, there? is there? He couldn't have helped himself. Well, you noticed, noticed the kind that last battle before this one started that 
If he'd have been paying full attention, he could have easily got a first rocket off before Mousel's knew he was there. Mm. He approached from behind, but didn't seem to spot him. Yep. Long duel going on. We've got an enforcer being used. There we are. Now, a lot of that was just making sure to wear down on the splash damage. Yeah, it was. What's interesting is they're just going over the same areas again. They're not really exploring this map no, and finding not. the best opportunities for places for pickups. I was using a sniper rifle in close range. That's an interesting tactic. If it works, it works. This time, though, it didn't. It didn't. There we go. <laughs> and as such, the clapping is on there. It's about time Carl and Fire got on the board. Yeah, this is. That's going downhill for me, Carl, so don't worry. Bit of self confidence there from Mousels. Hopefully, Carl can relax a little bit now and get into the game. Yeah, He's doing well. Chance, Dual Enforcer. Oh, double Enforcers. Just what I said. <laughs> As if by magic. Mm. It seems to be a very large map just for one on one. It does. Spending a lot of time hunting for each other on this. Even though they're not really exploring as well, which is interesting. So he's not seen it, and he's just given away his position like that. That's a real shame. So halfway through, it's Mousel 6, Carl on fire 2. He's got the opportunity to bring this back. He's got he time on back. his he's side. Got time. But that's not going to help. He hasn't got the deaths. He hasn't got the kills on his side, though. Mm. Lots of random firing from Carl, I notice. Marcel's having trouble getting the health there. He, he, he's worked out where it is, he just can't work out how to get to it. Now with the jump boots you can get up there, but the other way is just from the top. <laughs> just waiting there, just moving out of the way very slightly, just avoid the rockets and then just waiting for him waiting to fall into the trap. See, what Marcel's needs to remember there is he can drop down for the health there. Good shot there from the secondary weapon, and again, just taking him out. Carl on fire's looking now seven kills just to match. Just to pull into another overtime situation. And shredded then, yourself! And then he killed him. Like, my, my also killed himself. Yes, I shredded myself. So it's down to six he needs to even, seven I to win. <laughs> there we have, finally have some smack talking. Very polite smack talking though. I, I, I'm sorry that you're doing so rubbish, but... <laughs> there we go, picking up the extra health, that's great. He's got thigh pads up there if he wants them. And there they are. The secondary fire on that minigun I think is incredibly disappointing. I'm, I've never really thought of using it. I don't know what it does. I've got an impact hammer. He's using the shield there. It doesn't seem to work as an offensive weapon though, so I'm not sure he's quite worked out how the impact hammer actually works. Fourth. Doesn't matter because Carnfire didn't take advantage. Mousels is playing well here. As the dark horse of the competition, it's good to see that we've got this ringer coming in, helping to push the kills higher. It and we've got someone that's going to be able to take on Bish for the lead. 
But Although, once again, the lack of strafing. He just gave it on a plate to him. Sure, yes. To push him up to once again seven kills to even out. Do, do, I do hate to break it to you as well, but Bish already beats Mousels. Yes, but he's still got the so. opportunity to lose at some point throughout this competition. Looking unlikely on current form, though. Ho ho ho! See, that was a great shot. He knew where he was going to be, he fired and ran away to protect his health. Which he's desperate for now. See, only coming up to 40, he's not going to survive very long. Unless he can find something like that. Unless he finds some health packs. That's one thing I've noticed about Marcellus. His movement isn't necessarily as controlled as you'd expect it to be. He falls off of things a lot. Hmm. Doesn't always hurt. But he's remembering to look around. Keeping an eye out for that flash of blue. There he is. Oh, triple rocket. Just trapped in a corner. Carl on fire had nowhere to go. That's an unfortunate spawn for Carl. It's a very unfortunate spawn. Especially with 90 health. If he can get that down. And... A good old killing spree. It is a bit one-sided. 10 to even out now with 40 seconds remaining. I think this match is a foregone conclusion. It's Carl going to be tough. Is really going to have to bring his aim game up for the rest of his matches if he's in any contender to score a good left. place. I think his next two matches against the guys who were ranked as the most likely to win as well. <laughs> so he might have his toughest matches to come. Mm. So he managed to get the drop there on Mousels quite nicely, but unfortunately he's he killed himself. Four. Well, he was using that bio rifle, wasn't he? <laughs> well, there they are, looking at each other. <sighs> bit one sided, really. It was a bit of a battering. Not bad. 3.75 kill death ratio. Not bad is an understatement. And when the only positive award they can give you at the end of the game is, you got three kills! <laughs> Yay! There's a concern there. Mm. Well, Carl on Fire is going to be incredibly disappointed with that. Third match, third loss. He really needs to pull it together. Mousels, however, is doing well. He's lost against Bish, but he's won his he's other won matches. Two. So he's really, really... He's potential. pushing to be up there. Exactly right. Now, with that, there's not a lot more else to say. We'll head back to the studio. Back to you, Bish. So there we go. Carl on Fire versus Mousels, with Mousels emerging victorious putting himself in joint first place with Bishman Rock. The heat is now on for Carl on Fire. All is not lost, but it will be an uphill battle for him to claw his way up that table. Will he be able to? Will Mousels overtake Bishman Rock? It won't be long before we know. Next up is Flying Butter versus Phaeton XCI. So whichever one of those win will also be moved up to joint first place. Join us next time to see what happens. Over to the field where it's. <coughs> oh, <sorry. laughs> Needed that out before we started.